Lastly, uh, I, I was just curious about something I read in the paper this past week about uh, a meter program, Pango or something. They're supposed to, uh, it was just a blurb. I don't think anybody on council knew anything about no, that. I wasn't aware. But ironically, in this morning's paper, which I believe is related to it, I see this big ad. And we all know these ads aren't cheap. It says, next time you look for change, look for a change. Smart parking is coming to Scranton, launching May 28th. Stay tuned. I mean, this is, it I don't appears, know anything about I, I don't this. know anything either, but from, I didn't see today's newspaper article, but from the, or the advertisement, but from the previous article, it appears that um, this program is separate from the others that it's yet like a third branch of the parking meter program we're looking for uh, a company to manage the program then working with the manager would be um, a company providing the upgrades to the parking meters huh. and now to me, it's become. This seems to be someone else. Sure. It's entirely. becoming far more convoluted than we originally anticipated. Mm -hmm. We originally anticipated a company coming in, saving us money, showing us in real time the money that was coming in, and it, it just doesn't seem to be happening. But I don't know why we're out of the loop, why this is being done unilaterally without any consultation. I believe it was us that, that brought it to the forefront mm -hmm. a couple of years ago about getting a meter system in here. That was part of, of, of the parking authority. They were notified years ago and kept ignoring it until they got themselves in such a spot that we had no choice but to, to let them. But, but it, it just seems like it's the same old, same old. And for some odd reason, uh, one of the companies, Street Smart, does the same thing. I mean, who is making these decisions to say, I, I believe the meters are still the cities. Yes. Not in the, in the hands of the parking garages. Who's making these decisions to let these people come in? And it just seems like they're trying to do an end around over the first company we brought here, Street Smart, which I don't care what company would run it, but let's do it right. Let's not be taking care of five different hands here. This is why we're in a position we're in, but this is continuous. And, and hopefully January 1st, this kind of nonsense stops. But uh, it just upsets me when I, when I, we're part of this project and we hear nothing about it. We read about it in the paper. And, and uh, this stuff has got to stop. Hopefully, whoever takes office in January will be a little more amenable to dialogue. Um, you know, we, we talk about communication with the administration and all that. Yes, there's times when we've had to work together, we do have communication. But it goes both ways. You know, they should let us know what their intents are. And, and that's what upsets me. And, uh, you know, in a way, I'm happy there's going to be a change in January. I'm just optimistic. Hopefully, I'm, I'm optimistic that the change is going to be for the better of everybody. Um, but we need the transparency, and it just seems that this whole parking debacle is, is being all arranged to avoid the transparency that we're looking for. And unfortunately, we had a speaker, I, I was absent last week, but two weeks ago, the gentleman came to the podium and he said, what are you there for? What is city council there for? You know, it was going through my mind because I ask myself the same questions time after time. What are we here for? The office downstairs continually thumbs their nose at us up here. They only use us when they need us. And I know my colleagues have worked hard with the administration to, to, to get us to a certain point here where we can survive. But you know, it's tough when we work hard, we take two steps forward and they kick us a step backward. This has been the MO for the time I've been on council here. Um, and again, I would direct that whoever the next mayor is, and, and I stated it before, you don't need a, a, a city council that's always agreeable to the mayor, you don't need one that's always at odds with the mayor. We're checks and balances. And I believe we're going to continue that role 
no matter who's in there. We may disagree on things, we may, may agree on things, but it's, I believe we're working for the best interest of everybody. But when you look unilaterally come out with things without our, at least a conversation with anyone here, you're not working for the people of this city. Now there's four or five hands in this pot here. Let's, come on, Mayor, let's, let's get straightened out here. I, I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed that this stuff is continuing. And uh, again, like I said, I wonder sometimes what our purpose is here.